This is Chris Bonet. Was a like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bonet. Was follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night SmackDown December 8th, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. Now this is tribute to the troops as well. Uh, on commentary, we have Michael Cole, Kevin Patrick, and JBL. So yeah, JBL is replacing Corey Graves for tonight's episode of SmackDown because, you know, uh, he's been at every single tribute to the troops show. So he's there tonight, you know. So yeah, that's what he's doing. But yeah, then we start off the show with like a performance and all that stuff and uh then we actually get down to the first match of the night where we see uh santos escobar versus dragon lee one-on-one -on -one in the first round of the united states championship tournament that's the match we get to uh the nxt north america champion dominic mysterio comes down and watches this match from ringside and this match it was a pretty good match it was going back and forth between dragon lee and santos escobar at one point dragon lee runs into a super kick by santos santos pins him one, two, Dragon Lee barely kicks out a two. Dragon Lee at the ending starts fighting back and everything and gets onto the ring apron and then he got distracted by Dominic at one point and he was on the top turnbuckle. And that's when Santos sweeps his legs from underneath him and Dragon Lee pretty much hits his nuts on the top turnbuckle and then Santos grabs Dragon Lee, got him up on his shoulders and then hits the Phantom Driver onto Dragon Lee and he pins him for the one, two, three so yeah santos escobar defeated dragon lee tonight in the first round of the united states championship tournament so uh santos escobar qualifies into the semi-finals but yeah that's what happened there pretty good match though to kick off smackdown i will give that match three stars that's why i'll give it a good one but then after that we see nick aldis in the office and randy orton comes walking up gives them a check and then uh randy orton was talking about he don't know la knight and why does he? Why does uh, Nick Aldis got him teaming up with a person that he just met last week and he didn't know nothing about and all that stuff? And uh, you know, Nick Aldis says, "Well, he's the one that saved you." So it made sense to team y'all up tonight against Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa. And Randy Orton was like, "Fine." And then Nick Aldis looks at the check and says, "A hundred thousand dollars instead of fifty thousand dollars." And he goes, "Like, what's this for? Uh, why you gave me fifty thousand dollars more?" And Randy Orton says, oh, for next time, I'm going to RKO you. So, yeah, that's what happened. They're pretty funny stuff. But, yeah, later on tonight, we'll see Bobby Lashley versus Karrion Cross in the first round of the United States Championship Tournament as well tonight. And then we got that tag team match as the main event with uh, Randy Orton and LA Knight versus the Bloodline. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. But before we talk about that next match of the night, we've got to talk about a segment that happened beforehand. So yeah, the American Nightmare, uh, Cody Rhodes makes his way out there. And he was talking about how special tribute to the troops is and all that stuff. And he's excited to represent them and all that stuff. And he shows a video package of like John Cena with tribute to the troops like throughout the years and all that stuff, which was pretty cool. And he announces the United States Army uh drill team so yeah and then they come out do their thing and all that so yeah pretty cool stuff but then we get to the next match of the night it was bobby lashley versus carrying cross with scarlet at ringside in the first round of the united states championship tournament so yeah we get to this match and this match it was a pretty good match it was going back and forth and everything carrying cross attacks uh bobby lashley right when the match starts and everything and you know you're starting to get the upper hand at the ending of this match as well up until he runs to bobby lashley and lashley picks him up and slams him like a spine buster onto cross he goes to the corner waiting for cross to get back up and then he hits the spear onto carrying cross and then he pins him for the three count so yeah uh bobby lashley defeated carrying cross tonight in the first round of the united states championship tournament so bobby lashley advances to the semifinals and he'll be facing Santos Escobar in the semifinals of the tournament. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen there. Uh, that match it was a pretty good one, I guess. For that match, I'll give it three stars as well. I'll give it. But, yeah, that's what happened there. And, yeah, then after that backstage, we see Bailey, Kyrie Sane, Dakota Kai, Asuka, and the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky, Damage Control backstage, and Asuka's uh, training and all that stuff. And then Bailey comes up and tells me how. She will stay backstage. And then Dakota was like, everybody else was going to go out there and you just stay backstage. So, yeah, 
Uh, that's what's going to happen there. Surely Flair versus Oscar one on one later on tonight. Up next, we're going to be seeing CM Punk on SmackDown. Uh, up next, and later on tonight, we'll see Randy Orton at LA Knight versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa with the Bloodline in a tag team match in the main event for tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing to happen on Friday Night SmackDown. CM Punk makes his way down to the ring. He grabs a mic and he starts talking about a few things. Talking about, uh, you know, what does everybody want to talk about type thing, you know. Referencing Cody Rhodes and he says that, you know, uh, what the fans, who is he going to talk about? And then all of a sudden, uh, you know, the fans is talking and he says, you want me to talk about Cody Rhodes? And they was chatting no. And then they says, Oh, so you want me to talk about Roman Reigns? And then, actually, before he starts talking about Roman Reigns, he starts talking about, like, what brand he's going to be signing on SmackDown or Raw. And then he was talking about how he should go to the Royal Rumble, throw 29 other people over the top rope, win the match, and then go main event WrestleMania. And then that's when he starts talking about Roman Reigns, talking about how he, you know, should possibly face Roman Reigns. And then he says that, uh, don't forget that uh, Paul Heyman was my wise man at one point. So, yeah, that's what CM Punk said right there. And then he was talking about Roman Reigns got a lot of cousins and all that stuff, and he says that he should either go and, you know, hang out with main event Jay Uso Monday Night Raw, or he should come over here and fight Jimmy Uso, even though he got a bunch of cousins and all that stuff. But then he starts talking about other people, talking about Kevin Owens, how him and Kevin Owens is a lot alike, and then he, was, he referenced about... Kevin Owens punching people backstage in the face and all that stuff. And then he actually made a reference to himself pretty much when he says that that's insane and all that stuff. Where if everybody knows, CM Punk and Jack Perry and the Elite and all that stuff fought backstage. And then, you know, with the Tony Khan situation, all that stuff, you know. So, yeah, uh, funny right there. Pretty much him kind of referencing that. And then, you know, he's talking about a lot of people like Seth Rollins and all that uh, talking about how he's not the man in the household and all that. And, yeah, that's what CM Punk was talking about. And he says that everybody wants to talk about finish a story and all that. And he says that he's going to be coming there to finish his story because he wants to go main event WrestleMania. So, yeah, that's what CM Punk said. Pretty good stuff, though. It was a pretty good promo for the most part. But, yeah, that's what happened there. And, yeah, up next we're going to be seeing Charlotte Flair versus Oscar one one up next on SmackDown. And still to come later on tonight in the main event, it will be LA Knight and Randy Orton versus Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline, tonight in a tag team match in the main event for tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night SmackDown, we get to the next match of the night. But before we talk about that match, we got to talk about a few things. So yeah, we see uh, CM Punk walking backstage and he actually walks by the Bloodlines locker room up until he runs into Kevin Owens backstage. And he looks at Kevin Owens and goes like, you know where Nick Aldis' locker room is? And Kevin Owens is like, nope, don't know. And he just walks away. So yeah, uh, that's what happened there. And then we get to the match where we see Charlotte Flair make her way down to the ring. Oscar's coming down with uh, the WWE Women's Champion, Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, and Dakota Kai, Damage Control. But then Oscar gets into the ring and Damage Control starts getting attacked by Zelina Vega and Mia Yim. They go up the ramp brawling and stuff, and there's shots that come out there brawling and all that. So, yeah, that's what happened there. And Damage Control's not a ring stuff in this match. So, yeah. Just a one-on-one -on -one match between Charlotte Flair and Asuka. And this match was okay for the most part. But then during this match, Charlotte Flair injures her knee where she slings Asuka into the corner and stuff. And I guess she twists her leg or something. She injures her knee and then locks on the figure eight after that. Tries to lock it on. And then while the referee's checking on Asuka, uh, while she got the submission hole locked on, that's when Bailey comes around and sweeps uh, Charlotte's arms from underneath her and breaking up the submission. Uh... Bailey gets on the ring apron, Charlotte looks at her, and then Asuka comes running up, but Charlotte pushes Asuka into Bailey, but Asuka stops her track, so Bailey did not get knocked off the apron, and then Charlotte Flair comes up punching Bailey in the face, knocking her off the apron, and then that's when Asuka rolls up Charlotte for the three count. So yeah, Asuka defeated Charlotte Flair tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, that match was alright for the most part. I'll give it three stars. That's why I'll give it, but yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see... CM Punk talking to Nick Aldis backstage, 
in the office and all that stuff. And Nick Aldis gives him, uh, you know, a contract for SmackDown and he tells him to think it over and all that stuff for the weekend. So, yeah, that's what Nick Aldis tells CM Punk. But, yeah, uh, we're going to be seeing who CM Punk will sign with on Monday Night Raw. Uh, this coming up Monday, and then Nick Aldis walks away. And then Cody Rose comes up and he says, well, I heard what you got to say out there, but it's nice to have you back, old friend. So, yeah, that's what he says, and they both shook hands. But, yeah, up next will be the main event, Randy Orton is at LA Knight versus J, uh, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa, the bloodline in a tag team match up next in the main event. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night SmackDown, we get to the main event. Main event, but before we talk about the main event, we gotta talk about a segment that happened before that. So we see LA Knight and Randy Orton getting ready backstage. You see a Punk goes up to him, and they're looking at each other, and he says, "Good luck, boys." So yeah, then he walks away. But then we get to the main event: Randy Orton and LA Knight versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa, the Bloodline, in a tag team match. So yeah, this is the main event. This match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth between these two teams at the ending of this match. Uh, Jimmy Uso gets tagged in. Randy Orton does as well. Orton does his thing, taking down Jimmy Uso. Uh, and then, you know, we see LA Knight getting, uh, knocking Solo Sokoa outside of the ring. And then, uh, you know, Randy Orton's doing his thing, slamming Jimmy Uso on the ring, on the announce table. Gets him back into the ring. Hits the DDT off the second rope onto Jimmy Uso. He's setting up for the RKO up until he gets attacked by Solo Sokoa. Uh, Sokoa's beating uh, Randy Orton down up until L.A. Knight gets in there, turns Solo Sokoa around, kicks him in the stomach, and then hits the DDT onto Solo, taking him out. And then Jimmy Uso tries to hit a super kick onto L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight catches his leg, spins him around, kicks him in the stomach, and tries the BFT onto Jimmy Uso up until Randy Orton grabs Jimmy Uso, spins him back around, and then hits the RKO onto Jimmy Uso, pinning him for the one two three so yeah randy orton and la knight defeated jimmy uso and solo sakoa tonight in the tatsy match and la knight was not happy about his uh finish move getting interrupted by randy orton so yeah that's what happened there pretty good match i'll give that match three and a half stars that's why i'll give it i'll say that was the match of the night right there pretty good match but yeah for tonight's episode of smackdown i'll give it seven stars that's why i'll give it. it was a good episode but yeah uh, the main thing to check out was like CM Punk, pretty much, uh, where, uh, with his promo stuff, which was pretty good. But yeah, um, that was SmackDown tonight. Uh, like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Fidel. So follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. They'll all be down there in the, in the description box, and I'll be talking about NXT deadline tomorrow night. Um, you know, tomorrow night. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then.